Hi, this is Jack with Dolphy Tech. Today I'd like to show you how to acquire one axis encoded data using the Dolphy Cam 2. So in front of me today, I have a CI TRM, which is a five megahertz model with an eight millimeter aquiline delay line. And you can see attached to it, I have a Gyra ODI wheel encoder. So here's the wheel to encode the distance and we can see how well it fits on our TRM models. The sample in front of me is a uh, CFRP to Nomex honeycomb uh, sample that we had made for us by Flying S. So there are various features inside. So coming over to my software, um, if I'm happy with the setup, I can come through to the stitching menu. So I'll click stitch here. You see it takes me through. Um, I don't want to do manual stitching today. I want to do one axis encoder stitching. So I'll click that and you see it takes me through to this menu. Um, so the encoder type, you see we have a preset for ODI. Uh, the 16 means that it's 16 counts per millimeters. So it's going to get the correct distances. Um, I'm happy with this stitch pattern. Uh, so it's a raster pattern uh, going backwards and forwards. And you see that we have this uh, reverse XY button if we need to change the direction. So if we just want to check the direction, yeah, we can see it's moving um, correctly um, in line with the TRM. So I'll start off in the top left hand corner. I'm just using water as a couplant today. So start here. I'll clear the current stitch, yes. Press the button on my TRM and I'm good to go. So I'll start moving over. There's no need uh, with the software to preset your C-scan area because you can see that it just updates as I move. If we have missing data, it appears as black lines um, as it does with other systems. So you can easily just go back and um, collect the extra uh, data lines as needed. So I come to the end. The neat feature with the Dolphy Cam 2 is now all I need to do is press the button on the TRM itself. So I don't have to touch the software at all. Move down to the next line. And when I'm ready to go, I just press the button again and I start moving backwards. So you see that's lined up nicely, that feature, as has that one there. So again, when I get to the end, I can just press and carry on. Coming down to the final line. And there we have it. So now I've finished, I can come into my full mode. I can arrange this so that I have the full C scan um, in display. And I've acquired this whole area without touching the software once through using that button on the TRM itself. So we're just looking at the amplitude at the moment, but of course we've also collected the time of flight data at the same time. So we can see that we actually have two distinct thicknesses present on this. So the blue denotes that it's a thicker um, skin, whereas this turquoise is thinner. And we can see that these reflectors um, in the bottom right are actually deeper than the, the skin laminate because they're in an adhesive bond layer underneath. So we really have complementary information um, that's collected at the same time. Um, we can store both of these. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, just a quick demonstration of, of how quick and easy it is uh, to collect one axis line encoded data with the Dolphy Cam 2. Uh, for any more questions, please feel free to comment or get in touch with us. Thank you very much for watching.